hello hello guys this is Shar. welcome back to the channel now this is about destiny destiny is back as we saw on the very first episode of this season i don't even know what season number it is i'm not even gonna try to keep it up look because the the way they number it is stupid anyway and i've heard um from the internet streets that carlos king and them they chop it up in a way that they don't have to give these people uh, a, a whole paycheck for a whole year of work or something to that effect. Like they chop up the uh, whole season into two se It's one season, but they chop it up. Some crazy, some crazy and some real ghetto. So he can keep most of the uh, money in his pocket for him and the African, which, hey, if you want to buy his boyfriend a bunch of stuff, that's fine. Whatever. Now, look, Destiny is back. She's back on that BS already out the gate from episode one. Back on the BS. Like, how are you back on the BS already out the gate, Destiny? She back on some male is doing and saying stuff behind the scenes. She had been doing and saying things behind the scenes. This is why and this is justifying why she is the way she is with male. This justifies why she don't F with male. First of all, male stopped messing with you. You didn't stop messing with her. She left you alone when she saw that you were not only playing both sides of the fence, you, she, Mel couldn't trust Destiny the way she couldn't trust Martell anymore. Out of the two of them, she couldn't trust neither one of them. And in her, um, in Mel's eyes, she felt like both of them were working against her. Both of them. And yes, destiny did know martel first she knew him longer she knew him first so maybe deep deep down her loyalty does lie with martel more so than with destiny i mean than with Mel. And, and and it's true it does she made that abundantly clear when she started you know doing and saying shady things now it i mean it is true it's a fact that martel will make you choose he will make you choose a side he will definitely make you choose a side. And he made Destiny choose a side. And she she chose his side. But just because you chose his side, do you have to um, be negative and, and, and create, you know, like lies and spew lies and, you know, just make problems and issues, you know. But yet Destiny says this was what Mel was doing behind the scenes to her. Now, somehow nobody else saw it. Nobody else saw the mess. Nobody else saw the issues or heard about the stuff that she was saying negatively about Mel. You know, nobody heard it. Like, um, I guess Mel, I mean... Did she keep it to herself? According to Destiny, she didn't keep it to herself, I guess. But, you know, Fletcher's wife, she ain't said anything that um, Mel has said negatively about Destiny. For that matter, Martell ain't never said, um, you know, repeated any of the negative stuff that Mel allegedly has said about Destiny. It's never caught Stormy's ear. It ain't never caught Tisha's ear. Kimmy ain't ran across it. So who the who the heck did she tell? Miss Van, her mama? <laughs> you know, how did it get back to you if nobody from the actual core circle has heard anything? And believe me, if in, any one of those women that I just named, Kiki, any of them, if any one of those women had heard any dirt coming directly from mail about destiny they would repeat it to each other amongst each other and it would probably more than likely would have gotten said on the show so destiny recently did an interview on carlos king's youtube channel however dustin destiny dustin <laughs> dustin is the interviewer okay for her interview on carlos king channel right dustin he's a melometer um so he does but he's fair 
You know, he tried. He's not biased. He 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 he's fair. He's right in the middle. He's on the fence. And when he is, he peeped the wrong. He's he's he calls it when he sees it, or he sees it when he calls it, or whatever that say that saying says, right? But he he he's, he he don't really show favoritism. Even though he loves mail, he will call out mail on some things when he hear it and see it, and he'll do that for all the people on the show. I feel like he's very very fair and just. So. He was pulling um, Destiny coattail, like, you know, tell us more. Because she was implying that, again, Mel was saying and doing all this stuff behind the scenes. Not really on the show, but behind the scenes. Which this would justify her not being cool with Mel anymore. And, and, and you know, basically being becoming an op. You know, so by saying that, that justifies. Like, oh yeah, she was doing and saying stuff about me behind the, behind the scenes not really on the show and of course don't nobody know who what where she talking about so all only thing we could do is be like oh okay well i guess that's why she's not talking to her you know male saying stuff and doing stuff whatever destiny you got you you got to say more you got to you know what i mean like i, I thought you was going to be talking and saying more in detail about ish that's going on with you if not what the did carlos king bring you back for he had, I mean, he didn't do no trickery, J- Justin didn't, to get her to say a little bit more. But, I mean, he had to ask probing questions. Like, she was in a, um, what do you call that thing with the lawyers? Like, she was in a, a debriefing, you know, where they ask probing questions. It's like, Destiny, come on. Isn't that what you came back for? To be more detailed? To talk about your life? If Mel was dogging you out behind the scenes, let us know what she was saying. I mean, this is your prime time to tell us all the negative BS that Mel has been saying about you. If, in fact, Mel has been saying negative BS about you. Like, why are you sparing Mel, you know, and not telling us how nasty and rude and how she's been lying on you? You know what I mean? Like... You, you lie. I mean, that's proof you lying. You don't even want to say. Because anybody know if somebody spewing lies about them and they're asked about it, that's a, a, a good reason to air they ass out and, and, and put it all out on the table. Like, look, yes, they've been saying this and that and this and that. Ask her about it. You know, y'all think she's so this and that and she don't start trouble and she don't be talking about people and she don't be stirring the pot ask her about why she say this about me you know what i mean like she that's the prime time to do that and destiny is crooked she comes up short she don't say ish and then dustin goes on to ask her like you know what was the beef what's the basically how did it even what happened when did it start you know and long story short because dustin told her you know when y'all was at the madani uh re 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 reopening you know uh you was acting real stank toward mail and nobody really un- could understand why you know he didn't say it in those words i'm paraphrasing but um you know she went on to say well yeah she's been saying and doing a little nasty stuff behind the scenes whatever boom 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 right so um just to get right into it she was just like um basically tried to imply that uh, Mel and her ex-husband, LaBeric, is like really, really cool now. Like, they real close now, all of a sudden. And she is um, wondering how, you know, she ends up getting arrested for uh, signing that man's name. You know, that's illegal. You can't sign other people's um, signatures. You, you know what I mean? You're not Miss Williams. You know what I mean? That's That's illegal. That's how you got arrested. You know, that wasn't no trumped up situation you got arrested because you did an illegal act destiny she tried to uh, imply that her getting arrested and then martel getting arrested for the dv uh communication text messages that you know was labaric and male in cahoots and you know found out how to get these two arrested and get these two um warrants out for them it's like girl what the police is about business a police uh they they're about arresting people who have done some type of crime 
They not just going to arrest someone or have a warrant out for somebody just because somebody said, oh, you know what? Go put a warrant out for them. So what are you talking about? Find out how to, uh, did they get together to find out how to get arrest warrants? It's like, Destiny, you you committed a crime. <laughs> you, you signed someone's name. You signed a signature. You put a signature that wasn't your name. You did not put Destiny Payton. You, you signed your ex-husband's name. That's crime. That's why you got arrested. It has nothing to do with mail. <coughs> Excuse me. Why the heck is mail getting blamed for everything? Like y'all put that woman name in everything. She is the reason why you got arrested, Destiny. Come on. <laughs> that, that was too much. That was too much for me. She just completely just ignored the fact that she committed a crime that's not the reason why you got arrested the reason why you got arrested is because you feel like Mel and your ex sat down to figure out how y'all two could get arrested or how we can get them arrested it's like girl you sound dumb <laughs> and then she went on to imply that the relationship, the friendship that Mel and LeBaric has is inappropriate. Like, as if Mel is a uh, lightweight, almost getting ready to do a, a, a Sonny. <laughs> like what Sonny did to her with Moses. She trying to imply, like, Mel is about to do a Sonny with LeBaric, though. Talking about when I do FaceTimes with my son, I don't expect, I didn't expect, or I don't expect to see Mel in the background. And she didn't say how, what, who, or where. She just says, she drops little things out there and, 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 and just let it ride. But of course, because just, uh, Destin, um, I'm sorry, what's his name? Dustin is fair and just. He asked probing questions after that like oh so you've seen male in the background at his home well no not in his home basically they were at his restaurant and the kids were there his child um i guess maybe her children whoever i don't know she she didn't say the eminem kids were there she just implied that kids uh it, kids were there his kid was there but it was in a public place. It may have been uh, straight, you know, people just in the restaurant, kids. But I think I think I heard somebody say something about some kids were there. I know his was there. Um, but yeah, little Ace, I know he was there. But it, it might have just been that it was kids in the restaurant at the time, you know, from customers or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, they're in a public place. He, uh, as Kimmy said years ago. In those older seasons, uh, he makes good chicken. <laughs> you know, male like to eat good food. We all do. Yeah, she was getting going up there getting her some food. Chicken, barbecue, whatever. They say his barbecue and his chicken is amazing. At, what is it called? Barbecue, J-Rails or Rails Barbecue or whatever. Rails Barbecue Shack, whatever it's called. So, yeah, it's like Destiny, really, really, Destiny, you make yourself look. She's such, you know, when she put the makeup on, she has such a pretty face with her makeup on and stuff. It's like you are so ugly inside. She's so jealous hearted inside to the point she'll say all this type of stuff just so she can feel like she's getting a point, you know, uh, me one male zero you know what i'm saying that's how she's thinking in her head and really you don't have a point you you don't have a point you're not getting a leg up you don't seem truthful you seem like a hater like ever since you've tried to have beef with male you've been seeming like a jealous hater and you know even this season it's it's no different it's just no different y'all please listen to um this clip and um tell me what you think about what you hear destiny talking about drop down in the comments i do talk back like the video subscribe and until next time y'all bye
Now we know that. Do we have to? We definitely have to. <laughs> we absolutely have to. Because for the viewers, we were introduced to you as a friend of Melody, and that's how you were introduced to the cast. So we associated you with melody and being melody's friend and then we came to understand that you had a previous friendship with martel and so you were kind of both of their friend and after their divorce we've seen you continue a relationship a friendship with martel so what is the status of your relationship with melody today are you guys speaking or are you guys figuring out rebuilding or, or what's going on with you and melody today uh we're cordial mm -hmm. okay are you interested in in being more than cordial with her again or is this kind of where you guys have found your groove of, of peace amongst each other peace is a strong word um but i i feel like uh sure yeah we found our groove in being cordial you don't sound motivated destiny talk to me about that <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are, are you are you interested in rebuilding or or Finding a friendship with Melody, or has that shit pretty much sailed for you? Um, I'm interested in, in building a relationship with anybody that can be their authentic selves. And you don't feel like Melody is her authentic self when it comes to your relationship with her? You don't feel like that's been displayed? From my past experiences, no. Okay. Okay, and is that something that you feel... Do you feel like that can turn around, or is this kind of like it when it comes to the connection between the two of you because for the viewers um it felt a little it just felt misaligned once we saw you and melody kind of have a little bit of drama or pressure between the two of you and like at the madani um grand opening uh, event where we saw you guys have words and it felt foreign from what we were introduced to because we found you know we were introduced to you all as friends and so it was kind of tough for us to watch and i think that there's a um, there's just a general feeling of hopefulness right we would like to see maybe you guys find your way back to each other if possible we also know though that adult relationships there's ebbs and flows things kind of transition and pivot and sometimes they run this course you know what i mean and it just is the end of that iteration of the two of you so is that where you are with it today or do you feel like you're not interested in advancing a, a, a personal bond with melody i feel like you know um as far as advancing a, a personal bond like we've been there done that and it you know sometimes people just don't fit okay and, that's real um, for me, it's just been so much done, and I think the reason why it was shocking to see us in a space that you saw us at at Mondani was because so much was done, but it wasn't on camera. What did and we it wasn't that? privy I'm to filling that gap for us. Yeah, um, so can, you know what I mean. So, and the reason I ask that is because it helps us as the viewers to get a better sense of exactly who you are. Um, and, and it helps us have empathy and, and just, just get involved into the story of, of what happened. When we're left with just the, the fallout or the, the conclusion of what obviously was a buildup of events and occurrences, we're kind of lost on the other side of the screen. So what can you share with us that kind of got you guys into the space where you are currently? Well, what I can say is, you know, people, like he said, some adult friendships, friendships in general just don't, they don't make it. You know, you may not make it through a disagreement or um, a, an agree to disagree moment. Sure. For me, I feel like with the Melody situation, it's okay for you to choose to not be someone's friend anymore. That's mm -hmm. perfectly fine. But you don't have to try to tarnish someone's name, their character, and everything else on your way out the door. And I, that's a lot of things that I experienced. And a lot of people may or may not have seen it or didn't understand it. So for me, it's like, if we're done, we're done. Like, I don't have to be dragged. I don't have to be caught a liar. I don't have to be made this character or this narrative that's not realistic to me in order for us to separate our friendship. Like, just, just go, you know? Yeah, if God said go, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay, so, so to Martell then, um, before we get into your friendship with Martel, because we know that that goes back for many, many years. It's a, it's a long-standing friendship for you. 
How do you feel about what we saw in the season premiere episode with Melody having Martel, um, having a warrant placed out on Martel for his arrest for domestic violence through harassing text messages and communication? How do you feel about that space? Well, first and foremost, um, I don't think anybody deserves to be harassed um, in any form or fashion. You know, I- I'll start there. Um, and to see that situation happening in almost, well, I can't say simultaneously, but right after my own mm. arrest. Yes. Um, it just seems like it's this love and locked up or love and hunt marriage hunting. <laughs> It just seems so ironic, I will say that, um, that we both are experiencing, we're experiencing the same things from our exes, um, who are now close friends. And so for me, it just seems, yes. Um, for me, it just seems like, well, y'all sitting back planning this out? Like, did y'all teach each other how to get these warrants and get us, like, you know, that's how I I was feeling. Wow. How long have Melody been close friends? This is a new a new friendship, right? Um, well, my ex and I both know Martel. They, Martel and my ex were friends since they were six years old. Oh, and okay. so, um, I don't know, it just seems like as of late, and you know, you can be friends with you want to be friends with, I really, sure. really don't care. But it just seems as of late that um, it's been just a little survive, a little extra. Mm-hmm. Now you've seen them hang out more than you have normally seen in the past. Um, and it's, you know, when I'm calling my son on, on my FaceTime calls, I don't expect to see her in the background, but it's happened. Really? Okay. And so, <laughs> and so, okay. Wow. Destiny. Well, they, see, these are the, this is the information that helps the viewers come to a conclusion or help the viewers understand how you've come to certain conclusions when it comes to the decisions that you make about who you're in relationship with. So, wow. So you saw Melody in the home of your ex when you were... No, um, I think they were at his restaurant. Okay, yeah. at a restaurant. Okay. Yeah, so you guys heard, you know, if he didn't follow up with a question she would have left it right there and, and allowed everybody to think that mel was over that man house so shout out to dustin for asking the necessary questions to at least get what she's saying straight like to have a clear understanding of what the f she's talking about because she liked to leave it like that so people don't really know what the f she's talking about but you guys drop down in the comments tell me what you think about what destiny said to dustin and um like the video and subscribe and as always until next time bye